brothers and sisters, peace be with you. Today is Friday, December the 17th. And I'm going to share with you the vision that I saw yesterday and the day before. And okay, now everybody remember that the Lord has given us two greatest commandments. That's to love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul and all your strength. And to love your neighbors as you love yourself. So each day we live along the path of righteousness into holiness. So Lord Jesus is coming real soon to um, to fetch his uh, beloved children, <clears throat> a wise virgin, okay, as well as the children and baby, okay. They are innocent one. They are ignorant. They need to be home because the world has to go through judgment. So that everyone, the remaining one on this earth here, shall wake up to acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord indeed, okay. It's not only the Savior, it's also Lord of their life. So everybody, let's move on. Now, today I'm going to share with you Revelation chapter 19 verse 6 to 9 because in a if you look at the journal page 11, I saw a girl, okay, so close to me. In fact, she was facing me. Her face was facing me. Her body was also, because I don't know how to draw, you see, so I draw it in this way. In fact, it's uh, the whole body facing me as well, okay. And I saw her necklace, red color, and there's a knot, knot on the on the necklace there's a knot knot means wedding wedding means what means wedding is it means marriage isn't it and uh, to get married marriage so that's why i read uh i'm going to read revelations of the 19 verse 6 to 9 6 9 6 9 oh. okay <clears throat> let's look at verse 6 there's revelation 19 verse 6 then i heard that is apostle john say i heard what sounded like a great multitude of people like a great multitude like the roaring of rushing waters and like loud pearls of a uh, peer of thunder just just a loud thunder sound okay shouting hallelujah for our lord god almighty reigns verse 7 let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory for the wedding of the lamb has come and his bride has made herself ready so verse 8 fine linen bright and clear uh, uh, bright and clear was given to her to wear. So you see, so that's why we need to prepare ourselves, okay, to be pure, to be white, okay. So the fine linen will be given to us. So many times I share that I saw white cloth coming down, isn't it? <clears throat> so fine linen stems from the righteous act of God's holy people. That's why we need to walk along the path of righteousness. And then into holiness. That's why I love to say. Righteousness into holiness. Oh, verse 9. Then the angels say to Apostle John, say, write this. Blessed are those who are invited to the wedding supper of the Lamb. And he added, these are the true works of God. So everybody, I think you go back to Revelation and read and read. You enjoy reading it because this is a promise of God. And each day we walk along the path of righteousness into holiness. We will be given fine linen, okay, bright and clean and to wear and to face Lord Jesus to see our bridegroom all right and we are invited to the wedding supper of the lamb and these are the true works of god so next one next one i'm going to share with you about uh the one on the journal page so as, as usual still february the 6th and 7th there is the jewish calendar adele one fifth and sixth the chinese calendar luna uh january luna first month six and seven okay so our gregorian is february six and seven still the same the last one that we decoded up to January 30th and 31st. And then I saw seven, kept on seeing seven, and seven, 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 ah, many times. And then I also saw one layout finish. So eight, another seven days to finish. In fact, from seven o'clock up to the one o'clock, that one, I don't know how many times I saw that one, but I couldn't understand. And finally, the Lord <clears throat> let this to be open. So that we came to realize that is February the 7th, 
Okay, going up to 13. So 7 plus 6 equal to 13. All right. And then last time I also heard the sound say 2, 3. 二三, 二三是什么? What is 2, 3? 2, 3. So 2 stands for February. What does it mean by 3? Three? 3 means finish. Okay, February to finish. So next one I saw 0, 2 is red color, and then pink 2, and then 3 in green. Okay, and then red 2, 3, and 2, 3, 3. So this we're talking about February to finish, okay? And then remember February the 3rd, we have to eat 4 that day, 4 that day. Okay, so that's why below there we see 4C, and then we see a period 4 days, and then to, to finish, okay? And also uh, 4 that day, all this, I've seen it uh how to say four or five years ago and then uh the other day i can't remember about months ago i also saw this uh that day again no? so remind us and then you have four d six that mean four two three that mean february the third we have to eat four days okay <clears throat> to give us uh the east job be the seven the west to be the six all right now you say, Lily, why the red six written on on uh on the uh, in the east <clears throat> in the east? Well, the Lord say east and west. Sometimes He doesn't make it. Uh, how to say? Just let us to have the uh, how uh, have the um, want us to think about it. Okay, so this six can be in the west. Okay, this six. In fact, it's a six in the west. Uh, east is seven. So if you look at the one below with the green light, okay, green color, dot, okay, and then uh, written down seven. There's the east shall be seven. Green light means go, all right? So we have seven, six, seven, six, and then four, six, seven. Four means four that day into six of the, uh, February, and then the east, seven of February. Now, <clears throat> we also saw 11 and then 22, 23. This 11 can stand for rupture huh? 22 23 plus half months okay if you eat 15 days 15 days give you uh february uh, uh february the six and seven so two six two seven means february the six february the seven and then five plus six equal to 11 th there's a vision so five plus six is the fifth and six in the jewish calendar uh <clears throat> and then uh, 11 stand for rupture uh it can means uh 11 months into 12 months okay 11 months into 12 months and then to home going home to home uh next one we have one and then red color one and five six can you still remember that it's beginning of november so we thought it's a uh, january fifth and sixth no that is the jewish calendar adele one fifth and six all right so below i written that adele five, five and six uh, is equal to uh uh, our Gregorian calendar uh, six and seven, and also they are eight and nine. Eight and nine means Sunday and Monday. All right. So nine and eight. So eighteen plus eight. Eighteen eight. Eighteen is eight, one plus eight equal to nine. So there is Monday, and then eight is Sunday. In fact, we keep on seeing eighteen eight. Uh, uh or <clears throat> eight nine eight nine. And that is talking about. Uh, Sunday and Monday, or Monday and Sunday, all right? So you see, when it is hidden, you just don't know what it means, okay? Until the day the Lord said, yes, to the Holy Spirit, okay, let them know, like, let Lily have some clue, okay? <clears throat> In fact, God cannot tell me straight away because I have to decode. So he will give me some idea, all right? As I shared already yesterday, I saw a man. The day before and then yesterday I shared it, a man who was sitting there at a the table with a pen, you know, putting around his mouth and say, what to do with this person, Lilia? Okay, how am I going to give him some clue, all right? So the Holy Spirit every day have to give me clue, but not direct answer, of course. Now, because this is decoding, I have to do it and we are doing it together because of your support and give me the courage to move on. And of course, the courage comes from God and also need everyone's support that I will continue to be brave like a uh, like a how to say like a soldiers brave soldiers to move forward and finish the work all right so next one I'm going to share with you from one to one to wait one to eleven now at 11, I already say the lady with the necklace is talking about the wedding feast. Now, let's look at 11. Um, no, look at the left-hand side, number one. I saw a clock. 
But on the clock, I saw 10. 10 means 10 o'clock, but 10 also means 50 minutes, okay? So 50 plus the top, about 5 to 6, okay? That means 55 days, 56 days to finish, okay? Up to 11. And the next one, uh, I have 206. 206 means February the 6th, okay? That should be the West. Just now, it's facing the West, okay? So it should be the West. Uh, in other words, on top must be another six day, okay? Ten, uh, and then plus six, on the six going home. Okay, next one is uh, six, and then six zero nine. Six after six is something, but it's not, it's blur, so I didn't see, I saw it clearly, it's six marker pain, return six, and then bracket six o'clock zero nine. So six means the West going home on the six, and then six, nine on the six is monday nine stand for monday in fact six times nine also 54 days that means remaining 54 days this is the day 54 days or today if you regard in the east is also is 54. okay next one i saw ma means horse but it's not that clear the, the bright light shine onto the May. May means no, no. Uh. So if you read it from the east to west, okay, uh, looks like the Jewish and the Chinese, okay, they is talking about no horse. What does it mean no horse? There are seven strokes, seven strokes. Seven stand for divine completion. Seven in the east. That means divine completion. The east should be the seventh, okay? Seventh of February. Now, no horse because... Uh, Last time we saw horses, right? And the Lord more or less are telling us there's no horse coming to fetch us, but there's a great power. If you look at number seven, okay? Uh, that is on the 12th December, okay? Um, and I put it here because I put down some notes there that I need to put down this one. But the other day was full already. So it's talking about, zi, zi means going straight, directly up, going up. Okay, it's not by horse. Okay, the horse is not coming. Okay, horse will come down uh, with, uh, on the horses to fight against the devil. Okay, so this mean going up straight and then da ci shang. It means uh, it's like a big, big fan. Okay, strong, powerful fan. So in other words, this, this portal inside, they got strong power, okay, to, to pull us up. Okay, to pull us up. So there's no horse coming, but there's a power of God to pull us straight up, straight up, okay? And then next one, number three. So the word uh, light, light, uh, top part got 210, okay? That means 20, all right? And then below got light, light means come. They mean 20 stand for salvation, and then light means come. That means salvation is coming. And then the square stand for the new heaven, new earth, okay? Salvation is coming into new heaven, new earth, into grace. Next one, I saw the clock, five o'clock position. And then, then this needle, I, uh, previously I already shared, it's pointing to 7 and then pointing to 6, and this time pointing to 5. 5, a little bit lower. Now 5, we think of 25, isn't it? And then a little bit more is 26. So this 25, 26, we have to eat another 1 month, 30 days. So 55 days, 56 days, okay? That is the vision that I saw on the 15, okay? On the 15. So now it's less than 55, 56 now. Okay, going home. Now next one is... Uh, uh, I saw the bench top upstairs, and then there's a white white ball, small ball, very close to the edge, okay? And then uh, that side is going to the courtroom, it's going out. Huh? Normally, we go out from the side door. And then uh, there's a rubber band, okay? Three rubber band, two small and one big, all right? They are all blue. Blue stands for heaven. So these small ones stand for 12 days, 12 days, and the big one is 1 month, 30 days. So 12, 12, 24 plus 30 equal to 54. In other words, we have 54 days to go. Next one uh, is the packaging. The packaging is white color, silvery color, and then I smell some perfume i smell perfume okay smell perfume means something inside that signifies that uh, signify us okay maybe in the whole world millions of uh millions of bra uh, of christ going up okay next one uh eight remember 
children and babies. Okay, normally we are separated because uh, we have to be qualified, and the children and babies they are how to say they don't have. Uh, have to do whatever, but they are going home automatically because they belongs to the kingdom of God. Okay, next one. <clears throat> I saw the word pa. Pa, yeah, there's a square, okay, and then there's a pa, pa. Uh, means tell. That means very close already. We are very close to going home. And next one, so o'clock again from 11 o'clock going up to 12 and slightly more than 12. And uh, Okay, so there is talking about 6 and 7 as well. But you see, you say uh, 11 up to 12 normally is only four stroke yeah i know but i saw about six stroke okay and then the where uh, the east to be plus another one so it's seven okay that's what i saw that's why i share all right next one um 11 also stand for rupture okay in other words rupture on the six and seven uh next one i saw a boy okay about 12 years old uh, quite dark skin he was uh moving from east to west okay east to west east to west i uh, can imagine lord jesus coming from east uh, from the east to west okay and then going home is that bringing us home and then i asked the lord for wisdom knowledge look at his paint is blue color that mean for heavenly war uh, heaven war how heavenly war Ward, heaven ward, okay. So the Lord say, look at the time, okay. So it's two, three, two, two plus three plus two equal to seven. So he came from the east, so it's the seven, all right. And then next one uh, is a, a a lady, a young lady, okay, a girl. Just a lady came towards me, and her hand was putting like how I drew it, okay. So one hand is from seven o'clock to thirteen thirteen o'clock, okay or one o'clock another one is from 11 to 5 okay if you add it together you can say okay 7 plus 6 equal to 13 isn't it so on the 6 and 7 of february all right february uh rupture happened 11 stand for ruptured and uh, ruptured and then go enter the place of grace into grace so 6 and 7 okay ruptured into grace and you look at her her blouse. Actually, it's like uh, yeah, it, you say blouse, right? It's red color. Okay, that means the big day. And then the lower one is green. Uh, no, blue color means heaven, heaven ward. All right, towards heaven. Going, going to go back to heaven. And then next one uh, is the white on top of the uh, the you know the the blouse the upper part is white color. Okay, white color. That means uh, uh, into holiness. Okay, number 11 I already shared. So everybody get ready. We should be going home. Amen.